my dear students today i am going to discuss factor affecting on crystal field stabilization energy of coordination compounds in the previous classes we understood the calculation of crystal field stabilization energy of various coordination complexes we calculated the values for tetrahedral and octahedral complexes today i am going to discuss the various factor which are going to affect on cfsc value there are many factors affects on crystal field stabilization energy the first factor is nature of metal ion nature of ligand and the geometry of the coordination complex principal quantum number of the central metal ion and chelation these are the important factor so affects on stability of coordination complex let us see one by one nature of metal ion so when we come to nature first i am going to consider is principal quantum number dear students you know principal quantum number before you know quantum number quantum number so these are the number they are going to explain the position of electron in an atom the position the location of an atom can be explained by using some code of numbers these are called as quantum number for example if you write for example if you write 1 yes 1 or if you write 2p 2p x1 here 2 is the principal quantum number so this principal quantum number indicates the main energy level for example 1s 2s so in case of 1s the principal quantum number is 1 here the principal quantum number is 2 so principal quantum number explains the main energy level or this number so it signifies it, it used to indicate the main energy level in the molecule so 1 2 like that so the crystal field stabilization energy is depends on principal quantum number of d orbital usually this principal quantum number increases the size of an atom increases for example 1s 2s 3s 4s so if the there is a large variation of atomic size takes place on increasing principal quantum number so when we come to the d orbitals so here we we are going to there are three important series one is 3d series you can see here so 3d series 4d series 5d series so 3d so and 4d and 5d so 3d series 4d series and 5d series so you, and these uh, if you move down the period you know the periodic trend if you move down the group at that moment what happens the atomic radii is increases if you move from left to right if you move across the period so at that moment atomic radii is decreases but if you move from top to bottom if you move down the group the atomic radii increases so here the, why because the principal quantum number increases that means the electron is going to add in different main energy level so here it going to add 3d level 4d level 6d level so because of different main energy level changes the there is a large variation in size of an atom radius of an atom and this when size increases what happen when the size of the metal ion increases see these are the uh, complexes so here ligand is same and oxidation number of metal ion is same the only difference is the pr uh, principal quantum number here the principal quantum number for the complex is 3 here so rhodium it's a 4d series element the principal quantum number is 4 here so it is a 5d series element iridium its principal quantum number is 5 so principal quantum number varies their energy see their energy delta not 22900 cm inverse delta not 34000 100 34100 cm inverse so 40000 cm inverse see if the principal quantum number increases their energy also increases so why energy increases dear students you know that greater the size of central metal atom what happen so if greater the size the d orbital are strongly interact with the ligand if the size of increases they are so closely nearer to the uh, ligand orbital so that's why the interaction between 
uh, electrons of ligand and the electrons of metal ion is more that is repulsion is more if repulsion is more it increases crystal field stabilization energy dear student before going to understand all the factor here we are going to connect all the factor to the repulsion which is taking place between uh, central metal atom and ligand valence orbital it is very simple the crystal field theory says that when two metal ligand comes nearer what happens repulsion takes place if repulsion is more the splitting is more if splitting is more the crystal field stabilization energy is more the energy gap this is the concept once again so if when two met metal ion and ligand comes nearer repulsion takes place between the electro valence electrons of metal and ligand if repulsion is more once again if repulsion is more so they are go the splitting is more the splitting is more the energy gap is more more the energy gap so it, it is directly proportional to crystal field stabilization energy it's all depends on repulsion and splitting so you have to connect everything to this so here in the in case of principal quantum number what happens if the principal quantum number increases size of the metal ion increases if the size of the metal ion increases is strongly interact the one which is having small size it interact with less force but the one which is having large size it in large size it interact with more force as a result repulsion will be more if repulsion increases it leads to increase in crystal field stabilization energy next important factor is oxidation state yes oxidation state of a central metal atom it is directly proportional to crystal field stabilization energy so it is very so let us see that let us see the data here here for example let us take two coordination complex so here the ligand is same in the both the case there are six ligand here also there are six ligand and but here the oxidation state of cobalt is plus two here the oxidation state of cobalt is plus three then the crystal field stabilization of energy of cobalt two complex is ten thousand two hundred centimeter inverse, but the cobalt three complex is twenty two thousand eight seventy nearly. So if oxidation number increases, it doubles the crystal field stabilization energy. So you that is cobalt plus two having less stabilization energy compared to cobalt. Let's see why this is happen. How this size of an atom, size of a metal ion is. You just look at here, dear students. See here the positive charge. What happen? You know. See here cobalt. For example, here cobalt plus two, and here cobalt plus three. So cobalt plus three, the size of cobalt plus three is less than size of cobalt plus two. You know. Okay, the one which is having higher positive oxidation state, so its size is very small. If size is small, what happen? What is the property of small size cation? It strongly attract anions. If it is strongly attract anions, means what? Ligand, negative uh, spheres. What happens? It strongly attract ligand. What happen? So its uh, repulsion also strong. Okay, Cu plus two, Cu plus three. Cu plus two will not attract strongly. That much compared to the top Cu plus three in Cu plus three because of because of very small size and uh, uh, more uh, oxidation state, so attraction will be more. If attraction will be more, so it strong ligands are so so vigorously attack this Cu plus three and repulsion will be more in this case. But don't confuse in the case of principal quantum number. In case of principal quantum number, what happen? For example, there cobalt is a three D series element and the rhodium. Rhodium is four D, three D, and four D. You look at look at here. In this case, the size of cobalt is small, but the size of its rhodium is high. But yes, size of rhodium is high due to size. What happen? The attraction of electron new okay is less in case of rhodium, but here attraction is more. Even though the size is small, in this case the CF is small, but in case of for rhodium. The CF is more even though the size is high. This is the don't confuse dear students. Why? Because rhodium rhodium is larger. That means the valence electrons of rhodium 
not strongly bounded to the nucleus because of large size but in case of a cobalt because of small size electrons are so closely bound but here rhodium electrons are not are not closely bound and they are free to they are freely exposed in the valence orbital so these freely because of they are freely exposed and these are easily available for repulsion compared to cobalt in cobalt somewhat the force is strong due to small size the force is strong so that's why for say for say, that's why here it is strongly bound the electron that's why these electrons are not available for repulsion but in this case the extent of availability of rhodium electron to the ligand is more due to more size but in case of similar atom same atom in different oxidation state what happen the force of attraction is very dear students okay here they attract the ligand in a different extent cobalt 3 attract the ligand strongly compared to cobalt plus 2 due to small size but here here what happen here even though cobalt attract strongly the rhodium size is more so more electrons are available exposed to the outside and available for the ligand for the repulsion that's why so in in principal quantum number case so this is the reason so more elect more and more electron exposed to the outside and more ligands repulsion is more and cfs will be more but in case of cobalt plus 3 and plus 2 so attraction towards electron itself increases due to decrease in size and increase in oxidation state don't confuse between both the criteria here so nature of metal ion so you can we can look at the data here so higher the positive charge on the metal ion strongly it attract the ligand so shorter will be the metal ligand distance and stronger will be the d orbital interaction and it leads to increase in cfsc value so the cfsc value of the various uh, metal ion varies like this so platinum plus 4 possesses highest cfsc value because of highest oxidation state next nature of a ligand you look at the size here size so fluorine is a strong ligand and this is this is a variation of size of the ligand so increase the size of the ligand decrease the value of delta naught so why this is happens so smaller and more localized charges such as f minus interact more strongly with the d orbital of the central metal ion okay dear student so why this is happen even though if, if we consider halogen family there are four halogens so fluoride in and iodide, the size of the iodide is more than that of fluoride but the size of the ligand is inversely proportional to crystal field stabilization energy why this is happens why this is happens because shorter the ml distance and stronger the d orbital and ligand interaction and greater is the repulsion so you see this is a small and this is larger and the small if this is because of small the metal ligand distance is very small if distance is very small what happen the interaction also the repulsion also more and if repulsion is more the crystal field stabilization energy also more that's why in spectrochemical series uh, we can found that iodine is the weakest ligand so its cfsc value is very small and another important uh, nature of ligand is we observed in spectrochemical series that is strong ligand and weak ligand strong ligand so in, in the presence of strong ligand more will be the crystal field stabilization energy weak ligand so how we are going to one can go to judge whether it is strong or not we judge based on spectrochemical series another important thing here is that i am going to discuss in the next video but i'll put a question here while discussing we are going to tell that f minus is weak ligand compared to strong you know ligand okay f minus is weaker even even though water is a neutral this uh, fluoride ion is weaker ligand than water why this is happens so i will discuss in the next video